Well, we have a project here to train sheep to have an aversion to grape leaves so that the sheep can graze the vegetation on the floor of the vineyard as an alternative to using herbicides, uh, tillage, um, and mowing. Uh, could reduce, potentially reduce fuel costs, uh, reduce soil compaction caused by tractors. And it's a practice that's being adopted by some vineyards in Sonoma and Napa counties already. So what are you trying to do to prevent them from eating grape leaves? What we do is we take sheep that have never experienced grape leaves before, never eaten grape leaves before, so it's a novel food for them, and we let them eat grape leaves, and once they've consumed enough and they have a full belly of grape leaves, we give them a small dose of lithium chloride, and it creates a, uh, it, it creates a uh, mildly upset stomach, and they have a, it's create this negative association or this negative biochemical feedback that tells them this is something I ate, this is a new food, and it's making me feel a little bad. Is this the first time that you've had sheep out in the field that were treated to have an aversion to grape leaves? Yes, it is. And uh, so far we're happy with the results. So this project, if sheep can successfully be used for managing the vineyard floor vegetation, can provide benefits for both vineyard managers, primarily those that are involved with organic and biodynamic grape production, but also adds a benefit for sheep producers because they can provide a service to the vineyard vineyard managers by bringing in the sheep and to, to graze the vegetation and therefore creating a form of income for sheep producers who have traditionally had land markets that oscillate up and down quite a bit, uh, and this could provide a more secure form of income for them. This vine here is a vine that was exposed to sheep that were not trained, so they are expected to eat the, eat the grapevines, and this is what happens when we have untrained sheep exposed to grapevines. You see a lot of damage on this. All these were stems this high, about 10 to 12 inches long, and now they're only 4 inches long maybe, less than that. We see almost every stem on this vine has suffered some damage by the, by the sheep, as well as many buds that are broken off right, right here. So this is what you can expect with untrained sheep in a vineyard. Creating this aversion in the sheep it really broadens the window when sheep can graze a vineyard without damaging those grapevines and the fruit. We do not see any fruit on these on these vines at all, whereas some of the, the vines in the treatments where the averted sheep or the trained sheep were grazing are already bearing small fruit. We have a control group that is not trained or not averted to grape leaves, and we've noticed that they are doing what they're supposed to do and they're eating grape leaves, whereas... The averted sheep are also doing what they're supposed to do and just eating the floor vegetation, leaving the grape leaves alone.